uh, Tina Gillespie from Dairy City Council. Tell me, uh, what's your purpose here today? I wanted to learn more about uh, broadband infrastructure and also as uh, Council is a member of the Air Act network, we wanted to support Air Act um, to work with our partners to see what they're actually doing and how we can share our information, good practice and learn from each other. Tell me, what's the current infrastructure like in Derry City at the minute compared to the infrastructure that's in Donegal? Oh. Well, obviously Donegal being a rural area and Derry City Council in terms of its urban infrastructure, we're extremely um, very well connected and we've just recently become um, the second city in Northern Ireland to win the super connected city status and we will be making a much larger investment now in our infrastructure going forward. And we've seen the success of that recently with uh, the City of Culture and a lot of live streaming of music events that was uh, at the weekend. Yes, uh, I mean, it's particularly important to have the infrastructure in place with the City of Culture, the number of tourists that are coming into the city, and obviously what we need to do for the region, including Donegal, is maximise the benefits from the City of Culture and make sure we have a lasting legacy, and obviously the infrastructure plays a key part in that going forward. How beneficial with this new infrastructure that is happening in Derry City, how has that helped business develop in the city? Um, well, in terms of uh, the city, we have a regeneration plan um, called the One Plan, and in that there's a real focus in terms of growing our digital sector and growing our tourism sector. So I think the infrastructure is very key to growing businesses in uh, those two economies. What do you hope to achieve and what do you hope to learn from attending this conference here this week? Um, my main focus for attending the uh, conference was looking at um, now we've got the infrastructure in place, how do we make sure that we stimulate demand for that infrastructure and learning from some of the other areas, even some of the other areas don't have the same level of infrastructure, they still have some innovative projects and ideas for project stimulation. So. It's great having the infrastructure, but you don't, it's of no use unless people are taking it up and using it and you're growing your economy economically and socially so you can compete in a global world.